Hey guys, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to be talking about Link. If you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. And if you want to dive deeper, then check out the Telegram and Discord channels um, in the description below. So, as I mentioned before, you know, we're just making some shorter videos over the holidays. Um, just to put out some videos for some, uh, some of these different coins that we've been following. Uh, one of them being Link. So today we're going to be going over the return on investment for Link. Um, but we're going to be looking at, say, the time needed to 2x your investment, 4x, 6x, and all the way up to 20x. Um, <clears throat> so basically what this graph shows is this y-axis over here is the price, and it corresponds to the black line. And then this axis is the return on investment time in days, and it corresponds to these bands. And note that they're both logarithmic scales. So 10 to the minus 1 is 10 cents, 10 to the 0 is $1.00. 10 to the 1 is $10. And then you can also, you know, over here, um, 10 to the 0 is, is 1 day, um, so on and so forth. So the interesting thing is that, you know, we have these bands that form. And, you know, they, they basically start at a, at a peak point, which makes sense, and they slowly decrease, decreasing down into these um, bull markets, these huge run-ups. Um, so with Link, you can see some bands forming over here. Um, and then the time needed to say, you know, let's say if we take this point here, if you had bought at this peak, then you would have um, uh, had this amount of time to wait, which corresponds to, you know, maybe five or six hundred days before you would have seen a 2x on, 2x on your investment. And the interesting thing with Link is that, you know, there's not a whole lot of coins that have been able to see a higher high from their... Um, 2017, early 2018 peak, but there are a few of them, and Link is one of them, and it has gone on an impressive run since um, the beginning of this year. So if you had bought Link at the beginning of this year, um, you know, you would be up, uh, you know, about an order of magnitude. If you had bought, you know, back in January and you were still holding it now, you would still be up about an order of magnitude on your investment. Because you can see down here, you would have bought a 20 cents, um, potentially right before right before January, um, and then right before January now, you would basically be at around $2. So it's a pretty good ROI in, in one year. Um, and note that there are a lot, of, there are not many coins that do that and can and can uh, sustain that ROI. There's some coins that, you know, might go through a bubble and then pop, um, but there are some coins like Link. Um, Binance Coin is another one that have, have gone on to higher highs from the, the 2017 early 2018 all-time highs um, for most coins. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind um, if we look at, and, and if you guys remember in the other video where we looked at the ROI compared to Ethereum, you know, potentially Link has a, a long way to go up. It's just one of the things hindering it right now is just the fact that the crypto market is not in a bull run. Um, if the entire crypto market was in a bull run and Bitcoin was reaching its previous all-time high, um, then uh, you know, the, the price of Link could become even more speculative in the short term. Um, not that this is financial advice, it's just looking at what other coins have done in the past during a, a bull market. Um, it, you know, it's possible that it's possible that it happens again for, for certain coins that once Bitcoin reaches its previous all-time high, then um, several different coins might go on, on on these bull runs. And then once Bitcoin peaks again, potentially at six figures or so, Again, some, some of these other coins will see some impressive gains, potentially, if history were to repeat itself. But, you know, we're not, there's no, you know, we can't say for sure one way or another what's going to happen. Um, so really, you know, Bit, or, um, Link, the things it has going for it, just how, you know, how it has such a, a great real-world use case and it actually has some, you know, measurable utility. Um, and, you know, it's building towards all these different goals. Um, the, the thing going against it right now is just the market in general is not healthy. And I've said it before, you know, Bitcoin runs the market generally. Um, and, and while there are coins like Link that will see these runs, um, it could be dwarfed in comparison to what might happen um, if the entire crypto market were in a, in a bull run. Um, but it's not in a bull run and uh, we don't know how long we're going to have to wait before we see another one um, exactly. So. Here you can see I put in the 4x ROI, 
um, you can see that these bands become uh, more, you know, a lot of these lower bands basically just pop up to this point. And the reason is, is because it's not typically that difficult to sometimes see, say, a 2x in the short term. Um, but to see a 4x, uh, you know, you're, you're likely not going to just see it overnight. And, and you're going to be, um, you might, you know, you might see a 2x and then it might come back down. Um, so the time to see a 4x more or less becomes closer to a single band, but not, not exactly. Um, 6x, you can see those single bands forming. 8x, and then 10x, and then finally 20x. So 20x is way over here, so if you had bought a link over here at around um, 15 cents, then your 20x would be $3, and clearly you could have sold for $3 over here. And that would have been a 20x ROI on your investment, and it would have taken you, um, you know, maybe about two years to see that, um, which is really not that bad. Um, and, and remember in the previous video, e even seeing a 20x ROI, while it sounds crazy, um, you know, there are a lot of coins that have done um, way better than that that have been around a lot longer, like Ethereum, like Bitcoin. Um, and, and there are some others that are up more than that, um, which begs the question, you know, if, if, cryptocurrency, if the market can, say, go through another bull run, you know, aim for that $10 trillion market cap. If Bitcoin is only holding 2 trillion or so, 2 to 3 trillion of that market cap, then that leaves a lot of room for growth for other other cryptocurrencies. And I think a lot of them are going to be left behind. Um, there are going to be a lot of coins that don't return to their previous all-time high. Um, and I mean, just look at 2013 to 2017, there were a a ton of coins that did not see the bull run in 2017 that were part of it in 2013. Just like there are going to be coins, say in 2022, that are going to be part of a bull run. Um, and Or there, there, maybe there are coins in, in 2017 that were part of the bull run that are going to miss out in 2022 just because people don't... Um, see the, you know, see the point in investing in them. And when you have six or seven thousand coins currently, you know, it's just there's there's a lot of noise out there there's a lot of um uh, a lot of uh you know just not serious projects they're you know they're just more or less just people playing with the ethereum contracts and just making whatever erc20 they want to that day um but you know you know this channel is going to focus primarily on on coins that are are you know innovative that are are solving real world use um, use cases or have real world use cases I should say that have utility um, that are becoming a store of value um, and so on and so forth. So uh, we are covering Link. I would like you know I'd like to hear if you guys like this content. If you guys do, please subscribe to the channel. Um, I do quickly want to show. Um, you know, the same chart for Bitcoin. So you can see all of these bands that have, have formed over the years and, and these bands do become uh, less steep as we move forward through time. Um, so you can imagine that, you know, this is the first cycle, this is the second cycle, third market cycle, and we're just now printing our first bands for our fourth market cycle. Um, and you can imagine that, you know, maybe this band over here corresponds to these early bands here. And that it's going to take time, but ultimately we're going to see these um, long uh, lines that you know are going to take over a thousand days um, uh, for Bitcoin to get back to um, say or say to get to two x of its all time high to get to 40, 40 grand. Um, I would say it's going to take uh, well over a thousand days to get there. Um, hypothetically, obviously, I don't really know for sure, but ultimately you can imagine that we're going to see these bands again. Um, but they're going to just be flatter, and they're going to um, uh, the 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 buildup in the bull run is just going to take longer. So if we put this inset into the into the link chart, um, you know you can see that perhaps this band these bands here correspond to these. You know, it's hard to say exactly, um, but if it does, then uh, it's only um, uh, it's only li or it's likely going to become flatter. So the time to see these types of returns are going to take longer and longer as we move forward. I mean, you know, seeing a say two x from almost four dollars, so to get to eight dollars, you know, it could take a while. And if and if the the Bitcoin market um, uh, doesn't really pick up for another year or so, if if we don't see um, returns. Uh, or significant returns there, then it, it, you know we might not see them with Link for for you know a few hundred days. Um, but then again, so far, I mean, Link has been outperforming 
um, most of the cryptocurrency market in the last year. So, you know, there's really no telling. Ultimately, I'm not going to pretend like I know what's going to happen because I don't. Um, but I, I think, you know, the, the position that I stand is, is, you know, invest in coins that you see real utility in, um, that you can, you know, you, that you you feel pride in holding them in your portfolio, um, and, and sit on those coins for, for, you know, a couple years and, and see what happens. Don't worry about the day-to-day -day stuff. Don't worry that, you know, the price might drop 50% or, or whatever. Just don't worry about it in the short term. If you're not over-invested, if, if your exposure isn't too great, um, just find positions you're comfortable in, um, in whatever coins they may be, and, and hold on to them and hope that cryptocurrency, you know, enters um, another bull run. That's what I'm doing. Um, this is not financial advice. Uh, you know, do whatever you want to do. Um, but I, I like to provide these charts, to, you know, to try to give you an idea of the bigger picture of the cryptocurrency market. You know, things take time. When, when coins are first launched, you might see insane ROIs. But um, each subsequent cycle takes longer and longer and longer. So just consider that. Um, I think that wraps it up for this video. If you guys like this content, please subscribe and check out the Telegram below. Um, and then also, if you if you want to dive deeper, then I also do have a Patreon for some exclusive content. Um, that's it for this video, guys. Bye.